Hello to your viewers, this is Proxima. Today we'll tell you how to eat and cook pufferfish. But before we get to it, we've collected interesting facts about this fish and the unusual dish. Subscribe and don't forget to like this video so you don't miss the fun. Let's go! This deadly poisonous fish in Japan is a national delicacy. The ancient Japanese used fugu fish as early as the 2nd century BC. The emperors of Japan were generally forbidden to eat it. Farmed pufferfish may not be toxic, but scientists have shown that they're more aggressive and grow smaller. Turns out that fugu is the name of the dish, and the species of fish itself is called the brown puffer. Only in 1958 did fugu become legal. Before that, it was a prohibited product. Every year, 10 to 20 people die from improper preparation of pufferfish in Japan. It's people who cook fish at home that die. How to Cook Pufferfish Or, we need to clarify that. Only licensed restaurants know how to cook this delicacy correctly. Interestingly, the ultimate test for a chef is the preparation and taste testing of the dish. So, fishing takes place in the seas near Japan. In one voyage, if you're lucky, you can catch five to six brown pufferfish. Before the fishermen send the fugu to the restaurants, they cut off each fish's teeth so they don't kill each other. The secret to the taste of this dish is to keep the fugu alive for as long as possible. The first thing a cook does is stun the fish with a blow to the head. The poison tetrodotoxin is found in milk, caviar, genitals, eyes, internal organs, and especially in the liver. Therefore, you need to cut carefully and skillfully. The second thing the cook does is remove the eyes and the head, cut off fins skillfully and quickly. Then one moves on to the insides. They're very poisonous and weigh a quarter of a fish's weight. All poisonous residues are sent to a special container on a lock, after which they're burned so as to not harm anyone. The third is washing under running water. You need to wash thoroughly because if even a drop of poison gets into a client, they'll die. And the fourth thing the cook does is he cuts the puffer fish's fillet into very small transparent slices. Laying out these pieces is an entire art for the chefs. Some even make pictures in the form of flowers. Raw puffer fish is served to visitors for various sauces. For example, with ponzu vinegar, chopped onions, and grated radish. There's a rule. If the visitor dies from the cook's dish, then the cook must make a sacrifice and perform a harakiri, or also eat this fish. And what is the peculiarity of this puffer fish, you ask? Only that there's a risk of being on the verge of life and death? Try your luck? Fugu fish is popular not only among the Japanese, but also among many tourists who are willing to pay fabulous money for such an exclusivity. But there's more. Adrenaline from the risk of life and the taste of fish gives a feeling of drug intoxication. Even some say that the small amount of poison that remains creates a kind of paralysis of the body for a few seconds. This is why pufferfish is such a popular delicacy. Would you like to take a chance and try pufferfish? Leave us a comment. It'll be interesting. Until next time.